I'm your light shaman. Are you experiencing unpleasant energies in your home and surroundings and waking up in the middle of the night? My work involves clearing individuals, homes, and communities. Contact me at www.lightshaman.earth and I would be happy to help. For all of your high vibrational health care needs, visit Huna Kaparore at www.lightinaction.earth. Tetrahedrons and obelisks for your on-site ceremonies, handmade and coated with Kotahara crystal dust by Huna Hikahima. Shipping is available worldwide. Go to www.shiningstar.earth. Sweet, sweet dear ones, sweet dearly beloveds, welcome, 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 and uh, also welcome to my neighbors. The, uh, I see my neighbor who's Huna, Huna Maroyata, he's also here, he's my neighbor. Also, I have another neighbor that might uh, try to pop in because they only speak Italian, so we're looking for captions. <laughs> my neighbor Oliver and his mom which uh, is kind of interesting. They've never uh, sat down in this show before. So, uh, anywho, welcome here. We'll see there's a lot of Hoonas in the house. Hoonas in the house. What's up? Hoonas in the house. My goodness. Welcome, everybody. Sweet, sweet day one, sweet daily beloveds. Um, let me have a sip, okay? We call it dark matter. I'm just going to have a sip of dark matter. We'll let you in on that secret sometime. If you don't already know. If you do know, please keep it a secret. Well, here we are again once, uh, once, once more on the Unra Ta. I want to thank, want to thank uh, Una Tamake for her diligence in the, in the world of technologies and also all of those uh, supporting with your um, cosmic technical, cosmic technical support, the technical support of the mortars, the technical support of, of the sweet, sweet, dearly beloveds. What's going on? Lots going on. You know, we're kind of floating, floating in still. We're still kind of, Things are still moving through, still kind of carrying on from the past week or two, right? You know, I might drop a uh, theme into to each show, but it's kind of like things are just carrying on from the week before, right? Because it ain't over. Nothing's over, right? It ain't over yet, baby. Whatever that means, you know. So let me just say, for those who are just uh, coming to this show, and uh, if you're not here already, I'll say it again after. Uh, welcome, and just a little, just a little info on this show. This show is crazy. <laughs> I mean, it's an ongoing thing. It's an ongoing conversation. And so, but generally, we, we talk about our spiritual, our cosmic spirituality, our terrestrial spirituality, our uh, geopolitics, how our spirituality is aligning the geopolitics, either aligning or not. We talk about um, education, you know, ancient education, the antiquities, 
We, we talk about the ruins, even the ruins. We talk about sacred sites. We talk about stargates here, um, past stargates, stargates that need to be upgraded, stargates that are being shut down and replaced, connections, the cosmic connections to the stars. Yeah, that's right, Thomas. It's a nonstop conversation, even a celebration. We have those moments, all kind of moments. So if you're just new to the show, welcome. And um, I trust you can follow along. You may not, you know, may not get right off the kick what we're talking about, or even the position where we're picking up a position from a week ago, or maybe, yeah, from last show at least. So just hang in there. All right. For those of you on uh, the grams of instant. Um, thank you for coming along here. Let me just uh, pop over there, see who's over there, who the mother two is over there. Could see who now. Uh, let me just uh, give a shout out to uh, Kisses for Liberation. We are down for that. We are down for the liberated kisses. Kisses for Liberation. Uh, Hunakahasa, he's over there. Manam, Manam, Manam. And uh, Island Butterfly. As the crow flies, <laughs> that's what I was saying before. As the crow flies, and the uh, and and the what? There's another. There's an as the crow flies, and the raccoons eat, <laughs> or the raccoons scramble. Um, Jean Dot Sampson, welcome. House of Healing Clothing. We've got some House of Healing Clothing in the house. We got to check that out. Put up your links. By the way, guys, if you got all your stuff, you know, your websites and all your stuff, I trust you are you are using, you are utilizing, you are working with Dot Earth. If you work with Dot Earth, I can help promote you. I don't promote dot com or anything else other than Dot Earth websites. Yeah. Yeah. That might be like, well, why you do that? Well, because I want to. That's what I do. Okay. So if you have a dot earth, I'm down with supporting that. All right. Could make a you know a little promo here on the show. You never know. Uh Shushma Patel, welcome. Channel B, Helen Morris, uh, Mita thinks rich. I suppose that's Riches in syrup or riches in fat. Yeah, I like that too. H2O, liquid light. Linto, one, one. Yvonne's Kelly, Yvonne Skelly, healing. A lot of healing going on. Uh, Lori for Lori for freedom. Uh, Yates Shopper. And uh, La Fille de Lou. La Fille, La Fille de Lou. Is that right? Anyway, welcome to you guys over there on the Grams of Instant. Thank you for being here. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for showing up on the planet. And I'll get to those who are uh, over here on the YouTube channel in a little bit. It's going uh, quite fast over there. That's pretty cool. Wonderful comments happening. Uh, Huna uh, Matarana, she's going to save up and book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Thank you so much. That would be awesome. Uh, what else we got going on over here in the comments? Grand raising, grand raising to you, Minasula. Or grand rising, excuse me. Um, to uh, Colorado, to Henrietta. Uh, for a place to stay. What's going on here? There's some conversations going on. Conversations going on in the house of Huna. Light of Lemuria 5 for Amy. Yes, wah wah. Uh, Huna. Amiana. Huna Amiana. Ami. Huna Amiana. Wah wah Huna. He too mata. He too mata. He too mata. Welcome there, Huna. Kakiwata, Kakiwata, from Cornwall, Kakiwata. 
Colorado, Huna from Colorado, Huna uh, Manakuri, Huna Manakuri, Huna Manakuya. She's here as well. Welcome there, Huna. Uh, welcome. Uh, there's also Huna Wan Ni Hota over there at Stargate 18, promoting Stargate 18 in the house. What is this? Anyway, and uh, Myra too. Myra, uh, welcome there, Huna. Uh, maha po, maha paho, maha paho. Uh, hey, that means these are hoonies that were sealed in the sounds that come from the cosmic. They're not names, they're sounds. So if you can't pronounce it, don't blame me. Got some work to do. This is dragon language, dragon upper jaw, lower jaw configurations. Got to do some work to speak energy. All right. You're speaking energy, vibration, frequency, and the magnetics, and it takes some work to um, to adjust your lower jaw and your upper jaw. That's what that's about, okay? So uh, thank you to everybody here. So what am I talking about here? Can you guys guess what I'm talking about? You, un you understand the, the, the topic? Do you, do you understand the topic? Doors outside of light. Referencing Sector 6. Let me just have a little dark matter and to that one. Outside of light, dear, dear ones. Outside of light, sweet, sweet dear ones. Who knows what I mean by that? You know what I mean by that? Yeah. Outside of light. Welcome, Huna. Yeah. Doors outside of light. Well, there's a kind of um, continuum. Of course, there's a continuum happening. And it's connected to the geometry where we, we began to show you uh, from last the last show and the last two shows. And Doors outside of light were connected to the geometries we geometries we showed you last week, the last two weeks, and also what is showing up through those doors. Okay, what's showing up through those doors on the geopolitical side, the political and the spiritual side, on the ground and within the persons. Okay, I'm not sure what the conversation is going over here whether that's a conversation pointing towards this topic or is it another conversation? Because it looks like someone's just asking, do you know Sasha Stone? And then someone is going, match your integrity with theirs energetically. I don't know what conversation you guys are on, but we're over here, okay? Doors outside of light. And if you are, then explain to me what you're talking about. Because... This is live and interactive, sweet, sweet dear ones. Remember, you got something to say or you got a question for me, you have to come on, show your face, and reveal yourself, self, okay? So this seems to be a, a, an interesting kind of conversation going on and, you know, I want to accept everything and I expect and accept, accept, expect, of course. Now, now, now there's... Ord, who's gone off in another direction, but kind of in the same direction, um, dealing with, uh, he says, such, such a stone deals with the child rings and such evil portals. I don't think he does, all right? I think he deals with the children, but he knows nothing about doing portal work, all right? I don't think so. But then let's talk about it, okay? Because what you're saying is sounds like you know him really well. So if you have a, a question like this or something that's pointing towards the doors outside of light, then I'm going to share with you kind of what I'm talking about with the doors outside of light. But bring your conversation in. That would be excellent, okay? That would be excellent. Bring your, so bring your conversation in means you've got to show up. Cho choose the link. The link is being set, is, is, uh, is right there. So, Ord, uh, go ahead and choose the StreamYard link and – Show your face on uh, Huna Flash TV. This is about revealing. And uh, 
somebody else, somebody has, uh, is ready to jump in here. Okay. Hi. Uh, How are you? Can you hear me? I'm coming to Mexico soon. I just have to dig up my ticket. Okay, so let us know when you dig up. Well, I'll is do it, it today. I'll do it, it today. Is... I booked oh, it in 2020. It... It's a ticket to Merida. Ah, oh, Merida. But... Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, but I'll dig it up today, and I'll let you know, and then I'm going to also enroll in the Dragon Master. Fantastic. So. Did, you, did you hear that, sweet, sweet dear ones? Uh, the... I want to... <laughs> She's going to be coming to the Dragon Masters, and uh, that is also the graduation, which is the, the intensive. That's, That's in June, isn't it? Is that in June? The intensive is on the New Year's, Lemurian New Year in June. Yeah. Perfect. I'll do it. Okay. okay. Lovely to see you. Thank you so much. Kia ora. Are you having a good day? Night, I morning. am today, but I, it's been rough, rough, rough. I've been attacked no, in every you're way. Having, you're not having a good day. <laughs> no, no, I'm having a very good day today. Oh, like I just ran into my friends. They're, they're, uh, uh, what nation are you guys with? Coast Salish? Say out. They're say out. They're from, oh, you're, uh, you're, you're in Canada. Oh, you're down what? There. Yeah, yeah. I'm in Brentwood Bay right now. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go to Salt Spring and pick up my stuff. Oh, nice! And then, and then I'm going up to see my stepbrother in uh, what's it called? Housefly? No, horsefly. Not housefly. Horse <laughs> he yeah. has a ranch up there. <laughs> <laughs> he has 160 acres of cows and horses. Well, the house. So I'm gonna go up there, and then I'll fly to Mexico. I Sounds just I need great. to relax. And he just said, as long as I don't bug him or get in his way, I can come and stay for as long as I need to. Well, he's a good guy. His My name? stepbrother. His oh. name is Darren. Darren DeChico. Italians. Right. They're stucco guys. Oh. Anyway, he doesn't. He doesn't do that anymore. He he's a rancher. Anyway, I'll send you some photos from there, and then I'll let you know what date I'll be showing up. I'll probably visit the the friends in Merida, and then come over to Playa del Carmen. To can't wait! To, I can't wait to have sand in my toes. It's so cold here. Yes, it, it has is. Been, it's been horrendous, and my nose is running. The, the, the hospital gave me pneumonia. That's what you get for going to Canada, I tell you. <laughs> wrong. Okay, I'm going to go. I got to go, but... Ciao. Wawa. Ciao. Wawa. Okay. There was Maori AI. We've got a young man here. Who is this? Edward? Eduardo. How are you? Eduardo, are you there? Oh, hey, hey. I'm, let me just set up my cable. All right. Okay. You're on. Oh. You're on. Live and direct. What's on your mind, Eduardo? Uh, I'm actually the one that was there as Org in the chat. Hang on. I'm not hearing you very well. Try. Oh. Okay. Hello. Try that. Okay. Yeah, I was the one that in the chat was named Odd. Oh, you 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 Odd. What what is Odd? It's just Eduardo broken up. Actually. Oh, okay. No, I say I get it. I get it. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks <laughs> for stopping in, young man. Uh, yeah, young my, star my master. Person. Yeah, you want to talk my about uh, such a stone, huh? No, I because you said something about these dark um, or the portals outside of light, and uh, that's the reference I have is of this guy. Like he, uh, he doesn't like you said. He, I didn't mean to say he does any portal work. On the contrary, he's kind of like a diplomat or something. He does political work, but he I, did. I know him. He oh, okay, but he was one of the first persons that I heard pointing out certain things to do with these things outside yeah, he, of life. He's, he's been connected and following along for a number of years now. He's, he used to be a rock and roll in a rock and roll band. Right, right. Uh, and all that. Uh, it's associated with other 
um, let me say, students of mine, followers of the House of Huna. And he actually lives not too far from, from me. He has a home yeah. in Tulum. Yeah. Right. In uh, Bacalar Lagoon, right? Bacala, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to work there this June, actually. Oh, you are? His sister is my stepmother. <laughs> <laughs> they are pretty close, huh? <laughs> yeah. His, his, his sister is your, so your father's uh, girlfriend, huh? See, that's crazy. Not anymore, actually. So my dad's not together with her, but oh. we, we have a strong connection because, yeah, I mean, they were together while I was a child, basically. Eduardo, where are you located? Now I'm in Cyprus. But I'm going to you're India in, in 10 days for three months. But you're in Cyprus right now? Yeah. Wow, well, really Cyprus. Uh, you know, what I'd love to do is buy that airport in Cyprus. <laughs> <laughs> this place is, is crazy. I've never been in such a uh, conflictuous place. Yeah. Oh, I bet. Yes. I've not been there. I've not been there, but. There are people, one or two people that have followed. I've been following me from Cyprus, and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, they're they're asking that we uh, uh, that we come to visit, uh, yeah. that the Hunas come to Cyprus and do some work there. Definitely, and I was close. I was close to to being there not long ago. I was in Turkey, mm -hmm. so, but. Uh, not not may, not able to make it there. So you're going to India? Yes. Northern India. Uh -huh. to the, Why? Uh, just on the edge. Um, I, I suppose um, with the, the life that I've been leading up until now hasn't got I don't feel it has somehow the ability to accommodate certain things that uh, are becoming normal for me. And I somehow had a feeling that India uh, just by default has more space uh, when it comes to uh, yeah, the areas of life that I'm being pulled towards. Uh, did that make sense? Kind of. Um, you're looking for more space. Um, you're looking for consciousness, space for your consciousness, nature. Yeah, lots of nature. Yeah, well, India's got it. Yeah. Um, no problem getting eaten by a tiger there. <laughs> so I'm going to the edge of the Himalayas. Uh, okay. I mean to do some some treks there in the Kailash area. Some some what you're gonna do what? I I want to do some hikes, some trekking in the oh. in the Kailash area. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So that's that's my plan. And then in June, I've already got the ticket. I'll be landing in Cancun on the sixth of the sixth. Hmm. Um. To go and do this thing <clears throat> there at Bacalar. Okay, yeah, we have um, <clears throat> we have our Dragon Masters graduation that week, uh, the first weekend of June. No so way. we have about thirty shamans. There's about thirty shamans and uh, new students that are coming in to do their graduation testing. I think I remember reading that on the on the House of Huna website because I was yeah. this close to embarking on the. Dragon's Master course, but I still haven't gotten around to do it. Yeah, so uh, there's some stage I might get down to see Sasha. I know we've uh, kind of both of us have been kind of hit and miss over the past couple of years. Uh, it's very busy. Um, and uh, I know, you know, he's uh, we're talking about doors, dark portals, and things, the work that we do. Um, yeah, I mean, Sasha's um, been speaking of awareness, sh sharing the awareness about it uh, quite a bit, and talking to talking to individuals that are doing the energetic work and sharing information for for a long time now. But I've not met him, 
and I've not, he's not come with me to a Stargate that we're working, the systems we're working on. So I'm waiting for that time. Well, we're going to do a, a dark portal to the underworld very soon. Um, Azores. Yeah, uh, Amsterdam and Azores. Two, so I'm two half Dutch, Dutch, half Portuguese. Two, so there you go. So this is be right up your alley. <laughs> Yeah, I've, I've been, I've been, I've been uh, trying to be as up to date with your missions as I could can be. But, but there, uh, you know, this, this, this is the uh, two-headed snake mission, which is two access points to the one portal. So we are doing, we are infiltrating this system from both ends of the portal. So we, we're coming in from both ends energetically, bringing uh, energy in. And there's a third location we're going to bring energy in that's going to come down through the dimensions from, from a Stargate. So we actually have three locations happening to infiltrate one dark portal, which is a very important dark portal. That's very important. Um, but, yeah, that's interesting. You are both lineages in the modern world. Uh, of course, this dark portal goes back a long time, goes back probably 60 million, you know, 40 to 60 million years, this particular uh, location in terms of its activity. Hmm. And so, um, you know, I'd like to get Sasha out onto a mission with us one time, but of course he needs to be educated. And, and what we do. <clears throat> That's why there's a Dragon Masters to be educated what we do and how we do it. <laughs> Certainly why we do it. <clears throat> and these, you know, these doors outside of light, sweet, sweet, dear ones, it is outside of light. What's been happening? You know, just uh, just hang, hang in, hang, in, hang out here with me, Eduardo, for a bit uh, while yeah. somebody, else, somebody else comes along. But let me just share about this, this outside of light. We short we shared recently about the geometric forms of the doors that we see and we can navigate. We're navigating them on different birth signs and and on certain time zone light zones pertaining to certain birth signs of Lemuria. And we're able to see the doors. We can see and understand the geometry and understand the essences of them. And Certain, certain, um, it's, it's kind of amazing, not not on the scientific level, but certainly on a, um, let me say, legendary, which is future legendary, future ancient, not legendary historic. These are legendary portals, legendary Stargate, legendary doors that have just started opening again, but they are from the future. So there's stories, there's really interesting stories attached to it. For instance, one we shared about the birth sign of January, which is the Hea, and the birth sign of February, which is the Tidani, which is the hummingbird, and how these two birth signs were working together to facilitate the movement of energy um, going from inside of light and then outside of light and then back inside of light again. So like cycling it in and how, how these few birth signs were su supporting and the kind of energies they were bringing through, bringing back in. And then we see it bear out in the public, in the now. So we were talking about the mother of all changes. Well, here's one. <laughs> this, is, this is really cool. If anybody here knows George Galloway, if you know who he is, do you know George Galloway? He was, if you don't, he was a prime, he was a um, minister of parliament back in the 80s. And he got exiled and kicked out of parliament. And they were, and they just, they were hunt, they were, you know, just um, doing a witch hunt on this guy. Well, just the other day, he wins an election um, in the Democratic Party of the United Kingdom, the UK. So now he is being celebrated inauguration back into the, as a member of parliament. And guess what's the name of his show? 
Anybody here know know the show? George Galloway's show. I do, but does anybody know it? Right? The name of his show is The Mother of All Talk Shows. <laughs> <laughs> and we were just talking about the mother of all changes. Now, if he stepped through the door, he's obviously in this period, in this window, we're talking about mother of all changes of the past two weeks. And we talked about the doors outside of light, the birth signs that are supporting certain energies to return and come back in to help. Um, George Calloway is somebody who supports the Palestinian people. He supports the Israeli people. He does not support genocide. And he doesn't. He does not support um, settlers and the uh, occupiers. And he has for 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 sixty years. He's been in par He's been in the parliament. But this is a guy that's going to make some massive change just in that political world in the UK. Massive change. This guy is a rebel. And right now, Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, who anybody who's here from the UK, Richie Sunak is freaking out because they're trying to label him. They want to label George Galloway as a, um, you know, as a terrorist, as a, uh, protest and protest and, and protest against the, the the system, the the parliamentary system. Yeah, well, he he's he is he's a he's a rebel in the protest against apartheid. That's what he is. Yes, and uh, agriculture. You know, you love Galloway. So do I. Actually, I had a text from him one time. I wouldn't mind seeing if he still takes my text to check him out, uh, see what is see what's going on. But that's the mother of all talk shows. We were talking about the mother of all changes. And then also the support of the the grandmother's energy, the, the the feminine energy coming through the the doors from outside of light happening now. Anybody got a question on that? Anybody want a conversation on it? Jump on it. And uh, even if you want to have, if you know a bit about George, jump on and have a chat with us here. This is uh, live and interactive. And uh, uh, Sasha Sasha Stone there, by the way, uh, Ord. Sasha, I look forward to meeting him. Some days I'm going to take a run down to Bacala and uh, take a couple of days off. I'm looking for maybe a week's vacation or something. I might go and hang out and check it out. Yeah, um, I mean, you know what they're doing down there, right? The building, the yeah, city, yeah. and the, the university. So I'm sure you'll be you'll be well involved in it. Well, they've asked. Um, they've had conversations with two two of my hunas. And uh, I was meant to go and visit, uh, but I was again busy making hunas. And um, but yes, you know, I would like to invite uh, Sasha on the show, or uh, like to invite George. I don't know. George would be so busy now; he won't want to talk. Who, who knows? I don't know. I should just send it out to him. Um. So, do you know anything going on in uh, in Northern India that? Uh, um, that I can connect to in terms of who knows. Not, not particularly, like. no. I do have some in southern India where mm -hmm. we are going to be trying to get the right timing to go into India because I have a couple of Hunas there, southern India. Um, yeah. So we we're working on timing, mm -hmm. and on that timing, it's, it, it may be where I can stop in through southern India. I've got to go to Sri Lanka before I go into India. That's the process. That's the protocol. Sri Lanka first to do the clearing and cleansing and then enter into southern India. And then I want to do a dragon ride, do a dragon ride and present the uh, Wataka Lemurian system and return that back to India. So maybe um, end of the year. Yeah. So what what are you, you so you're going just to hang out over there, isn't it? You're going to go and chill out? Yeah, just recharge, cleanse, uh, and recenter. What are you cleansing and what are you centering from that requires you to go all the way to India? Have you been busy battling the dark ones? Uh, or just last eating? Four, uh, last four years, pretty much, have been uh, a kind of huge. A roller coaster in which I find myself in battles I wasn't even aware I was fighting, you know, and uh, and then right, 
and then I'm shown certain things about my position uh, uh, in relation to, you know, I suppose you could call them these these doors outside of light. And uh, yeah, just really important lessons, I, I guess, for a young fellow like me about choice and um, uh, I guess what you might call wholeness or authenticity. You know, like these, these, some of these entities, some of these uh, energetic octopi are are damn sneaky, you know, and they and they have intermingled and uh, penetrated the most intimate of circles for many of people. So, uh, yeah, now it's my time to just step out for a bit. Because yes, I feel like when I go to Mexico, I got new stuff coming in. Uh, there's another phase that I'm going to enter into. And yeah, India's been, I mean, I've bought flights and not gone and so on for the last three years. And now it's like just flown. I didn't know I was going until today. And it's a weird day because it's also the anniversary of uh, the four years ago, me and my brother on our uh, self-made uh, uh, sailing ship got caught in a storm uh, and uh, we we sunk and we yeah we got rescued by helicopters and all that we we're real close to dying and my mom has this day as an important day on like she she has it written hey. on her screen and today she gave me a late I got a late birthday gift because my birthday was on the 23rd of february so about a week or so ago okay. yeah well that was an important door day that was an important day for a door on the 23rd okay yeah we spoke about it on the last show you should check out the show because that, that was we had the one the i missed the only one i missed in the oh world. okay yeah that yeah. was uh, yes yeah, so that was talking about a door that's aligned to you because the hummingbird was bringing in the in the information and the gift you're a hummingbird as your birth sign. Yeah. So this is very interesting, very important. And for you to go to India and take this, uh, these, you know, to do what you're going to do for yourself, but also as we're sharing this information with you, now that you're hearing it in your consciousness and you're a part of it, especially the door outside of light, um, which the hummingbird was incredibly involved with, you're now going to carry that information with you as you go to India. So thank you very much, by the way. Thank you very much. Because <laughs> otherwise, you would not hear it anywhere else than here. Hmm. So what, I, what I'm sharing with you is a um, information that is not spoken by anyone else other than the House of Huna about your birth sign being a hummingbird and the door that was available, made available, we shared about it in the geometry, and we talked about it on, on February the 23rd. So you should check that conversation out because it... I will most definitely. And, and, and you know, you take this, what I'm saying to you now, it's going into your consciousness, and you will carry that in, from your consciousness to India. Or wherever you're going, not just India, but I I even if it's... Uh, faded by then, which it probably wouldn't be. But if I was you, I would pay close attention to that. Because India is India and Buddha, Buddha came into my, my field a number of years ago and asked that I return the Lemurian calendar back to India. Hmm. That's why I'm going to India, is to return the operating system of nature. It's called the Wataka. So it's behind me. And so I have a um, couple of opportunities that I, uh, you know, going to be doing over there. But if you, but as I'm sharing this with you, I'm sharing this about your birth sign and, and sweet, sweet dear ones, anyone listening, that um, when you go to India, you'll be carrying a, Lemur, a, a piece of the Lemurian Wataka just from this conversation, you know. The, the, there are so many boy there. I'll tell you what, when I started bringing the Lemurian calendar out and revealing the, the stargates and the new systems 
with the Stargate, Stargates and the new the new portal systems. Um, but it didn't take too long, uh, I suppose. Uh, a couple of years later, and then people started talking about, oh, this new calendar system and that new calendar system, and it was, <laughs> it was <laughs> this is going crazy with calendar systems now. I don't know if, if you have run across that, but um, it really kicked up, started kicking up for those who are working with the Stargates, working with portals um, and concerning the children and has become a very, very important part of the conversation right now. So what I'm sharing with you, you carry that with you. It's an important activation for you, actually. And activating right now your consciousness because it's something you've never been told but you may have felt it but, you know but there's knowledge and wisdom behind that ah there's there's powerful knowledge behind that behind the the hummingbird not 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 scientifically or even in nature or even by bird lovers I'm talking cosmically mm. yeah See, someone is asking right now, what's the animal for December? It's the okapi. Okapi, which is the forest giraffe, has, has a short neck. That's December, the seventh month of the Lemurian Pleiadian Wataka system. See? Now, bringing out these questions. Mm -hmm. So when you go to India, uh, one that I would like you to consider um, seeking out, actively seeking, if you can just remember, um, the Kumara. Do you know about the Kumara? Hmm. Okay, actively seek out the Kumara. Oh, can the Kumara, you... but aren't they in southern India, in Sri Lanka? Doesn't matter. The, nah, doesn't matter. Kumara is the, the, Kumara is the seven... The seven Kumara of the light council of the light of days is the is the light. They represent the light of the universe. It's not just in, in southern India. Oh no! So they're not. You're not talking about the Aboriginal people of of India. Who are the Kumara? The Kumara, the seven, the the seven um, Kumara <laughs> of the light council of the universal light. So not Kumara. There are Sanat spoken in seven ways. And um, there are some of us who are aspects, strong aspects of the Kumara. I'm one of them. That's why I'm going to India. But uh, even though the Kumara are in, and the cave of Kumara is in southern India, and the seals, the seals of Kumara are on a plaque in the cave of Kumara in southern India, it rep the Kumara, those represent the seals of the light council, uh, the, the crystal light council of the light of days. Okay, which is the logos light of the universe and all universes. That's what's represented there. So if, if you go to north, even seek out hearing or looking for or asking about the Kumara. It's totally connected. The Wataka is totally connected to the light of days. It's the light of days calendar or the light calendar. Okay. So someone here, agriculture, why don't you jump on and ask a question, agriculture? That's kind of a cool, would be a cool topic for, for us to, ch to chat about the calendar. Why don't you just come on and ask a question? I can feel your, I can feel your energy from here, agriculture. And it's, it's, it's a fun energy too. So, okay, Eduardo, so check that out when you're over there. I will. Thomas is getting off over there. He can't contain himself. Look at that. <laughs> so freaking neat. He can't contain it. Isn't that right, Thomas? It is. So freaking neat. I'll let you know when you come and do a mission with us. Maybe Eduardo will be ready to join and become a dragon master. You know, we got dragon masters that are coming in at their 70s and 80s, their age. Mm -hmm. no, I'm serious, man. There oh, are some God. Hunas that are coming in and they're, and they're in their 70s and they're becoming Dragon Masters. 
and their wisdom and their their wisdom strength is off the chains. Hey, yeah. I, I do have a quick question. Uh, what's happening that you know of in uh, Gotaland in Sweden? What's happening in Sweden? Uh, yeah, in terms of portals or um, are there many Hunas there? Is there? Uh, we are building it. We are building the Hunas. There is a couple of Hunas there now. Oh, okay. Because my father and, has just moved to the forest there in in into the middle just, of the uh, forest in Sweden. Oh, so, okay. So, yeah, we just reset the frequency of the Stargate in Gotland. Well, that's where he's living. That's where I just came back from. Oh, beautiful. Not, I mean, not just, but earlier, uh, late, late 2003, um, I was in Gotland resetting the Stargate frequency. Mm -hmm. The team, the whole team. I think um, there was uh, 13 of us on the team, I believe. Somebody will remind me. Some of the Hooners will remind me. But, yeah, if you've got... Uh, people in uh, Sweden who might want to become Hunas didn't have to take the Dragon Masters. Nice. Who have we got here? Ah, Huna. Huna Hamianna. Hello. Hi, greetings, Huna. Thank you very much for... Uh, for uh, still see me. So it's a very interesting conversation that you're having there also with Eduardo, and he's asking about, can you hear me, Huna? Uh, I hope yes. you have answered yes. that. Awesome. All right. So the Kumaras, they come from, the, I stand under correction, uh, Huna Flash, that they come from the stream of the Brahma, uh, and Shiva. So the Kumara are actually um, the sons of Brahma, in the Sanskrit, they call them the uh, the prajapatis or the create the creators. Uh, you know, they, they are the the creator stream, and it's also very deeply connected with Sanat Kumara and the Kumaras that came down to uh, to, to this earth to actually save the earth, if I'm not mistaken. Right, so that that's what it is, and we owe them a great debt of gratitude because it is because of the Kumaras, and in in particular Sanat Kumara, that there is this earth here today. Otherwise, it would have been blown up or uh, just destroyed, like all the other times that Earth uh, was destroyed. So it is through the the Kumaras and Ka Sanat Kumara. I, I think he hails from Venus, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I could, you know, so again, I stand on correction. Uh, and uh, we are very grateful that we have an earth to have this experience and to really get back uh, to where we originally came from. And that is the original light. And on moving on, uh, um, uh, Huna, is that um, when we talk about the hummingbird going, uh, you know, like, beyond the realms of light, are we actually talking about going into the realms of silence, uh, you know, what we also call, uh, you know, the, the shunya look, it is the, the, the silence. Is that what we are talking about or the void uh, where the hummingbird goes to? Yeah, the, the uh, access, the door, the portal itself is a vortex, is a, is a continuum, which is silence. Okay, and uh, this through the continuum, it's silence. The location on to, into the uh, omniverse on the other side, however, okay, has uh, is not so silent. It has information, has elements, has it has um, energies to bring back from the future. Okay, it's it's so it's going through the through the quiet space to receive the gifts from the future to bring back into now okay. and coming back through the stillness, the quietness, you might, you can say, or the continuum to bring her back oh. through now. Uh, so that door, I don't know, you're frozen, but I don't know if you're still here. Um, I'm here. So we, we, we refer to those doors as well, being connected to the continuum uh, or a continuum, right? Because there's many, there's many access points. 
the essence of the continuum is stillness. Okay. okay. And then from the, then when I often say this when I when I'm up when I'm in when I begin a a session with either one with a seal session I begin it with I begin the session like this because this this places the essence of the moment that's needed into a correct position and at the correct posture seating energy for the seating energy to seat the energy so i often say this from the stillness comes the sound from the sound comes the knowing from the knowing comes the action and then back again from the action comes the knowing from the knowing comes the sound from the sound comes the silence from the silence comes the light when i often begin a session i begin to place that energy um, immediately and that is and that is to take the person through the continuum portal into the energy work on the energy and then come back again bring them back into the body okay so and as a hummingbird that's what the as the birth sign is my birth sign and also as a kumara and also by the way um an essence of rama and the brahmins that's part of what the things that i do and everything you said is correct everything is totally amazing and thank you for sharing that too by the way uh, and to, to answer your question about tanat kumara being from venus there venus is in your memory cuz it's actually the this language of greek and roman did not exist does not exist it, it is your memory that you exist in actually when we speak to this in lemuria we do not speak venus and the lemurians and the pleiadians speak to wahi and to po okay this is not venus well, the, the other words, Venus for you, but the essence is not the essence is Tuahi and Tupor, because that planet is a twin planet, yeah. twin dimensional planet of light and dark. But the darkness is not like you know, uh, demon darkness kind of stuff. The darkness is in the womb, the energy of the womb. It's called Tupor. Then the tuahi is the energy in the light. It generates this twin, it's this twin star within itself and can be in two positions at once. And it does actually. Well, there's more to share about that, but I'm sharing this with you because those words from Venus to, and 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 Sagittarius and all the other ones, Mars, Mercury, all of that do not exist. They, along with the sounds from the months of the year, do not exist. The July, Julius Caesar does not. That that's not a. That, that's not a zodiac. That's some guy, who's a murderer. Uh, J Juno, another guy who was a murderer. Octavia, another pedophile, orgy brothel, baby eater. Yeah? You really think these things exist? I mean, you really think uh, Venus, which comes from that same distorted language, you really think that exists? No. Because these, these are names made up. But the energy of the Kumara and, and Sanat certainly, and uh, the, otherwise known as Lady Venus, we speak to as Tupor and Tuahi, they exist. Those energies exist. But uh, this languaging, the lang even in even in India, in the in Third Lemuria, which is India's position, we we call India's position from Third Lemuria a third moment. All right, and 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 this languaging of Hyperborea, which is which is the Atlantean Hyperboreal language that doesn't that doesn't even exist. It's nonsense. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Those aren't the sounds. Those sounds came later, and uh, hyperboreals comes comes out of the out of the modern times. How can you speak hyperborea a million years ago when it only just arrived? 
in the modern times. You cannot, because it didn't. The same with the months of the year. The same with the Venus and Mercury. And these legendary, the legends, the legendary gods who are not, were just guys, just men and women, happened to have a, a legendary story told about them. And then it was taken over and distorted. Uh, We're going to get know, into the levels, the levels of the of the distortion are, are so deep and convoluted. There's a lot of undoing to be done. Uh, yeah, so yeah. much, yeah. yeah. So, so the more you speak about it, the more you share about it, and but also that you know when people are ready to come, they recognize the matrix. Oh, we're in the matrix. We've got to get out of the matrix. Okay, now how do you get out of the matrix? So one thing to recognize it. But you can't keep calling it in when you keep saying you're Libra, when you keep saying you're you're this from that zodiac. You got to get rid of the zodiac. Now, if you get rid of the zodiac, what are you going to? Where do you go? Where do you get rid of the whole thing? You're floating, and when you're floating, and you don't have a basis under you, no ground. That's a good thing, I think. Now you come and see us. Start talking to us. Mm. Start talking so, to the hummingbird. Talk to the talk to the hummingbird. Yeah, you know what I mean. Okay, <laughs> back to the yeah, back to the tyranny, yeah. right? The hummingbird. Oh, okay. you can talk to talk to whichever one of them. There's twelve of them. Thirteen of them. There's thirteen yeah. to talk to, including Maita. Right. Yeah. So I, mean, I think so, India knows this. India knows that for sure. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to through the through the silence zone, right? Is it then to reach? the galactic core or is that the galactic core before the silence i'm not too sure can you please explain uh, uh, yeah certainly you can go to you're going to go to the knowing okay so from the from the uh, from the silence comes the sound uh, from the stillness comes the sound from the sound comes the knowing so you're on your way to find the knowing or you're on your way to the knowing something some sound comes along and then there's a knowing oh what's that what is that knowing that's wisdom knowledge it's a vibration frequencies it's the knowing and when you when you know you go into action what is that action now you you're the one <laughs> you're the one traveling right you're traveling through that stillness to the sound to the knowing well no indeed what what am i going to do with this knowing either there's something to do with this knowing or there's nothing to do with this knowing yet you're going to find out what it is however and if there's something action to it okay now you're going to come back or you're going to stay there you're going to come back yeah you have to come you better back, come right? back because we're waiting for that gift you've gone all the way there hey where are you? where's i mean where's huna we're waiting for this gift better get your butt back here now you have to uh now you have to make your way back so now you go from the action to the knowing okay this is the knowing I had the knowing come along that what was the sound or oh, that was the sound. Okay. I'll make that sound. And then the sound is going to go quiet and you're going to go into the silence. Oh, okay. Go into the stillness again. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm back in the stillness. And what, what, what do I wait here long enough in the stillness? What's going to, what's going to be next? Oh, the light comes. Oh, you're back again. Kimuria. You're going to say Kimuria. <laughs> The essence of Lemuria is Kamuria. Now, there's an, there are other codes that can also make sure we make you get your ass back here because we'll call it. <laughs> we're going to hear you. And if you're lost, we're going to call you. We're going to call the codes to bring you back, which is the Mahakawatahita Wakahama. And we can track you through there. Ah, okay. Uh, it sounds uh, uh, track you? amazing. Okay. So I have one, one last question. <laughs> if you please indulge me, right? So <laughs> this, this has got nothing to do about going outside of light, right? This is something different, but I hope you will indulge me with this question because when I heard you speak about it, it stuck with me. And, and I have this opportunity now, so uh, I would like to ask this question. And it is, you mentioned something about from Murthy to Archangel Michael. Now we oh, would say as Murti, <laughs> we would say Murti. I don't know. There are several Murtis, right, or Murtis, but which which Murti or Murthy to Archangel Michael? No, so um, I was making a, a joke about the. There was this there's this show about the guy. Um, he's going to kill his father. Prepare to die. Right, is 
you killed my father, prepare to die. The guy he was talking to was, um, his name was Muerte. Oh, Muerte. And, and he kept saying, and he was getting angry because he kept saying, he kept calling him Morty. Mor Morty, like, like Morty. Like just like a blase, you know, sound like Morty. And he get really upset. Now, Muerte. Muerte. He kept calling him Morty. Okay, Morty, then, then get so upset. I am Muerte. <laughs> Anyway, this because um, I, I heard I'm not versed on on that that uh, transition from uh, Murde Murte to uh, Archangel. Only that, as we understand, going to sainthood. Yeah, you, you froze up. I'm here. I'm here. Yeah. So uh, only the under, understanding of going from from uh, to receiving sainthood. Okay, and that Murdy Mort. Yeah, now I'm forgetting how to say it. Murte, Murte, yeah. Murte. Uh, yes, Mort, Morte, Mort. Here we go again. To to becoming archangel. To become an archangel is in a way that you would going from a human to sainthood okay. in the angelic on the angelic level. Ah, not necessarily to a particular archangel. It's just to becoming a saint or a it's, it's or an, an essence. Angel, archangel. Uh, okay, essence of the uh, again. Those those uh, names. Me, well, Michael. Hello, Miguel. Okay. Hello, like these names again, right? Yeah. Like we're yeah. we're we we don't have names. Yeah. Right. We have essence. The sound of light is what we have. Okay, we have a name. We get a birth certificate. That's a contract. Get our name on a contract. You're going to work all your life to undo that sucker or get back what's mm -hmm. been taken. And you are doing that now. And then you're going to, re and then you're going to, okay, how do I get out of this title? Well, how does Michael get out of being Michael? In the essence of the archangel, right? And the, the arch and the seraphim, the whole family of archangels and the seraphims. And the or what is it or orifim, orifim. Uh, the um oh all these all these the, angels the ch cherubim and you know that's the all those in, the in, in any case people need to let go of the old gods yeah really really get rid of the old gods you can let it go now Michael okay Michael fine my son's name is Michael. I don't mind being, I don't mind the name at all. It's all good. But in terms of where are we now? We're we're getting closer and closer to being the infinite ones again. Because yeah. we are. We 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 are we are nameless. Our souls are infinite. Our light's infinite. I know mine is, I don't know about yours, but you stick up for yourself, okay? Because yeah, I'm gonna stick up for me, and I'll stick up for you. I think you are. I feel that you are. I know that you are. When we when we connect, I know you guys. You guys are on your mission, man. Mm -hmm. When you're on that mission, but well, here's here's one for you. Even the message coming from the archangel, right, or the message coming from the stargate, said, "I have to go and reset the energy of that stargate." It's one that archangel Michael uses frequently, which is in Archangelsk city in Russia at the North Sea, at the White Sea. I'm going there to do that. But it was about the Stargate calling, not so much about Michael or the angel, but it is uh, legendary. So, okay, I say to people, well, we're going to go and do this work, you, you know, when you're ready, if you're able, come with me and have the experience, you know? Yeah. Are you still it's there, really Mariana? <laughs> It's it's uh, really good to have the uh, your own experience uh, because then you know then you can feel the the reality of everything instead of just having to hear it uh, you know from somebody else's experience because it's still not yours and it's not real until you actually experience it yourself. So you know lots to look forward to and I'm I'm really grateful that I have this opportunity and thank you for your awesomeness and uh, for uh, indulging me and. To be here to ask these questions i truly appreciate 
uh, turned into a bit of a conversation, didn't it? But thank you and for your knowledge. And uh, yeah, you know what? First hand information is you want first hand information. You know? Yes. How many absolutely. people do you know have the first hand information? Yeah, it's mainly book knowledge and then that's repeated over and over and recycled. And then it's not even your own. You you need to have your own. If it's somebody else's, it's somebody else's. It's like fitting into um, a great like kind of uh, you know uh, a lattice, you know, uh, like a quilt. It's not yours. You have to have your own experience to know it we and to add to this great universal or cosmic quilt. Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, it is known. But if you if you if you you cannot know if you do not know, even yeah, if it's yeah. stuff you've been talking about, you know, mm. you might have heard about a location, but did you go? No. Exactly. Well, well then mm. you know, tell us when you go, man. Probably mm. write a different book about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. But, um, yeah, thank yeah, thank you for that. Thank you. Una. <laughs> thank you. Hey, uh, thank you. you you're coming in the June. Uh, I, I put the intention, let me put it that way. I put the intention Where? there. Oh, okay. I, put, yeah. I set the intention uh, to, to make it. I have not as yet signed up for the Dragon Masters. I would like to do that. Um, you know, I'll just see how it goes. All good. Thank, thank you, you, Una. Thank you. Hey, thank you, Eduardo. Uh, let's give space open, open back up for... Uh, Someone else who may want to jump in and say what's up. Yeah, it's been an honor. Awesome, Eduardo. Uh, yeah, that was very, yes, wonderful conversation. Two, two things happening there. Uh, both of them uh, experience with India. And Eduardo's going to India. Miana knows about the Kumara and talking about the the doors, the portals, asking about the stillness. These are all good, good questions, you know, because they're actual things. The stillness is a, is a thing. You know what I'm saying? It's a thing. It's like upper jaw and lower jaw. That's a thing. So the, so talking about the stillness and the and the, uh, the to the sound and to the to the knowing and to the action absolutely they can all ha and that'll happen simultaneously not not necessarily one after the other it can just go wham you know just bam there you are okay we've got uh yes shaman mermaid black dragon and uh, and some wonderful comments. Some more wonderful comments from all everybody visiting, uh, sharing sharing some information here on the Black Dragon. There's a question Thomas had. Thomas, uh, how about coming on and asking that question, huh? How about doing that? You have a question up there. Pop in and uh, reveal yourself. I don't know if you did yet. Uh, I mean, I would remember if you did. Okay, hey, yeah, good idea. Who knows, Tom Mark here. Let's take a quick pause for the cause, share a little about the entrepreneurship of the Hoonas. If you have a business and you'd like to promote it here, the first thing you have to do is set up dot earth on your URL on your website. It has to be set to dot earth. Okay.
For all of our expecting families, we have pre- and post-birth sound healing sessions with Huna Kahiwaha, available in person in Vancouver or anywhere online. Go to www.harmonizedfamilyroots.earth. Go beyond the distorted codes of the Draconian Matrix and get a Lemurian Oracle reading with Huna Kahasahi. For more information or to book your Oracle reading, go to www.flc.earth. Introducing Mexico's only harmonic egg, operated by Hunas Maroyata and Maaikuta. For all of your health support needs, be it physical or emotional, sessions are available now, both in Playa del Carmen and online. To book your session, head to www.apapachar.earth. Okay, sweet day one, sweet day beloved. Um, let me just also word out to the grams of instant. If you have a question there, sweet, sweet dear ones, go ahead and um, we'll have to put the link over into that side there. Let's just see how we can do that because that's on another platform. Um, how do we share that link over to Mark here? to the grams of instant said possible all right they don't do clickables all right just ask the question um i guess okay lizzie lizzie uh, namaste plant-based has a question you feel very connected uh, where is there more info to learn from you? Um, Lizzie, you can go to, let me type it in there, the website. All right, here's the website. Okay. And um, also on my channel, you know, Huna Flash TV that you're watching right now just go over to the youtube channel there's a lot of free videos there okay when you're ready uh there is a the dragon masters course see who natomarki has joined the conversation over there now so she can share links with you that's great um or if you'd like to jump on and have a call lizzie come on over to the youtube channel um and um you can just click on the link and come in for a chat that'd be great too someone has a question what are the sounds i keep hearing from a green stone i found on the beach last week um are you sure it's a green stone i'm assuming you know it's a green stone okay um I don't know. You, you tell me what the sounds are. What does it sound like? Okay. Apata. That's the sound you're getting? Uh, apata. 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 Well. Ah. Uh, in the sound of Lemuria is a celebration. Pa means the kingdom of heaven or home. Pa, uh, and it means the first crystal or the first stone. To means you. <clears throat> okay, so maybe it's saying that you are the celebration of the kingdom of the of the, the for the from the kingdom of the first stone, or you are the kingdom of home crystal kingdom of home, the crystal kingdom within you, more or less. And yeah. Apata. Apata to. Apata to. To meaning you. Okay. Um, I hope that's helpful. 
Yes, the ta means first stone, pa means a home, like Mother Earth. Also, the planet is a crystal, so it's a, it's a kingdom, it's a crystal kingdom, right? Ah, it's a celebration, ta is referencing you. I see Thomas slid out of that one a little bit sneakily. You haven't yet, but bless you profoundly, <laughs> Thomas. Always dodging Thomas. <laughs> she called you dodging Thomas. <laughs> I mean that lovingly, sweet, sweet dear one. Uh, what? Who was that? Oh, Lizzie. Oh, okay, you've joined here. Oh, you're over here. All right, Lizzie. Go ahead and jump on, uh, hit the link right there, and jump in and, and ask your question, and perhaps you'll have another one by the time you get in. Who know what does owl mean? It means the world, Julie. It means world. A O owl it means world. You go to Hawaii. There's a place called a valley. It's called E Owl Valley. That's what it means. The valley of the world. Um, for some reason. I am now hungry for pancakes. What the heck? I'm going to make some pancakes. Lizzie, ah, nice to meet you. Thanks for coming. Can you okay. hear me? Hello. Yes, I can. I was just saying I'm, I'm getting hungry for pancakes. Oh, they're delightful. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll, think I'll have a snack of pancakes. Maybe someone will make some for me. No. <laughs> so, yeah, what were you saying, Lizzie? You, you had what was that question? I was... mentioned that I feel very connected to what you oh. speak about. I recently learned of you and what you do via Aaron Lyons. TV, okay. And I'm. The more I've only heard a few of your transmissions, but whenever I hear them, there just seems to be such a like a resounding feeling in my chest and in my soul beyond the chest. And um, when you said that about dragons, I just had a moment because I was just um, on Socotra Island in the dragon blood tree forest. Ooh. And yeah, it was phenomenal. Oh. And I had um, a session with one of my friends. I took a retreat there. I led a retreat. And, Fantastic. Oh, thank you. Um, one of my friends, um, when I was doing some energy work with her, I had so many visions of her and dragons. And I, I'm not that I know of super connected to dragon energy until kind of recently when all of this started taking place. And I saw some visions for her, uh, like with her combined in there, because I, I know that they weren't really my visions because I share people's visions. And it was so beautiful and stunning. And then the, the next couple of days after the little synchronicities that she was showing and sharing with me were really, really mind boggling. And so when you mentioned about um, dragons just now, I went, more yes more 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 they they do travel through the doors <clears throat> they do they do travel multiple dimensions simultaneously some travel and uh, do work on individual basis and individual aspects uh, and certainly many many people now are awakening to their dragon energies in terms of um, the connection to, to, to land, water, sky, not necessarily about the Kundalini serpent understanding, but the connection um, um, through themselves as being a three spirit or three kind of a three spirit person, three spirit being, a being of three essences in one, which we are, all right, because we are land, we are water, we are sky, and all of those aspects are water. And then, then, then there's the fire, the light, and there's the so it's the fire is our vo the light is our voice when we speak. That's the light. That's the intention. That's what we call the first fire from within side of the water, right? Mm -hmm. So when we speak, we speak fire. We fuel the fire. 
when we speak. So that that's the light inside the water. So, but however, <clears throat> because we are land, water, sky, um, and also you know not entirely water, we can access each one of those essences um, individually. So we can access the connection to land by working with the land to to invite the land uh, and to help support the land and whatever the land needs to do. It might need to move, might need to shake, it might need to wobble. And the same to go, same goes with the with the water and the same with the sky. That, but that acts that 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 energy is powerful dragon energy. Um, in a way, because the dragon is a, it gives us also through the dragon sound or the sound of dragon gives us that potency, you know, it gives us the idea of the, it's pot the, an idea, the idea of our potency and our intensity. I mean, I suppose we could say, well, I don't know what other, what other potency you would speak of. Whale? No, that doesn't really, you know, no. dolphin. Though they are high levels, they're still not, what well, you know. So dragon in, 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 the, in the current language. But when we speak it in the, in the old ancient sound, we say tani, sometimes tanipa. And the Māori will speak tanipa. The Lemurian goes into just tani, which means the tear of a dragon or the tear of the stone, the mm. tear of the stone being. <clears throat> because stone is what we are. We are earth. We are we are crystal. We are also water and all of that. So the tear of the dragon, Tani, is is gives us that level of connection and intensity. Wow. But it doesn't give it, it doesn't give it, it, it just it's able to, we're able to speak to it. We speak to it, we don't speak about it. We speak it. And how is it that we speak it? Um, in the sound, the type of sound. Uh, okay. Obviously, many languages. Uh, but we, if we don't. We we endeavour to continue speaking lang uh, speaking energy, vibration, frequency, rather than language. So does it does it have to be through a like a verbal tone, or can it be through? other methods it, 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 there's also sound that does not require breath okay right the friction yes resonance doesn't require breath so it's not yeah. a speech it's a resonation it's a vibration frequency so for instance if you if you if you said um if you happen to say this phrase mahakawatahi Tawakahama. Okay, if you say Mahakawatahi and you say it really fast, so you go Mahakawatahi Tawakaha Mahakawa Mahakawatahi Tawakaha Mahakawatahi Tawakaha. So you you you're going you're going forward and then you're reversing and you're going forward and you're reversing. So you go it's, it's a continuum cycle and counterclockwise, which goes Mahakawatahi Tawakaha Ma. So you go there and you come back. Okay. Now, if you say it, Mahata, Maha, <clears throat> Mahakawatahi Tawakaha, Mahakawatahi Tawakaha, Mahakawatahi, now speed it up. Mahakawatahi Tawakaha, 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 they, they, you might be a higher note. They, so, and then you come back. Now, all of that information is in the one sound, can still be in the one sound if you just go. All of that information is still in that. It's just a matter of speed and, and tempo and rhythm. I, I do it a lot for the work that I do in the Great Seal. Now, wow. 
this, you're, when you do this, you're speaking the energy. You're, you're, you're sounding the energy. But also know that when you get to certain pitches, certain level of pitch, there's two things going on, one lower jaw and one with your upper jaw. When your upper jaw resonates to another frequency, at the same time, your lower jaw is is um, staying in the lower octave, perhaps, and your upper jaw goes into a higher octave on the same in the same uh, um, instant, in the same delivery. We call that the kōwairunga, the kōwairaro, which means the upper jaw and the lower jaw, mastering of the lower jaw, and then it's an actual thing. If you're an energy worker and you work with light, this is one of the things uh, I, you know, I share that that's something that you should be doing, learning how to use your lower jaw and your upper jaw simultaneously. Now, there are many cultures that already do stuff like this. It's just kind of a natural cultural thing. What does it do? It opens portals. Gives you access to, that, to, to certain portals, certain tunnels, certain stargates. But you, you have to have the knowing inside the sound, okay, because it's also a consciousness connection. So you would start out. You would start out with I started out with the continuum there just to show you the continuum. But but also there's there's also another set of codes and sounds that go in with it, that would go along with it to to set a different intention. Yeah, throat singing. Joe just talked about throat singing, of course. Throat singing has a certain uh, uh, energetic exercise and a certain intention on a certain frequency. Yeah. So if oh, you're an man. energy worker, if you're an energy worker in a sound, you work with sound and light. We are already the ability to do rife in rife technology, um, uh, Tesla technology. Um, there's there's also what's the other one? There's a few that we can already do within ourselves we can already deliver don't need a bed well i mean a made bed would amplify the thing so your challenge is to amplify your your abilities step by 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 helping yourself and others thereby helping others but now you access doors which means also to access a door outside of light would be connecting to access certain levels of gifts and, and, and medicines, let's just say medicines for want of another word, and bringing those medicines back in to, to share with others. Okay, now that's why I access certain um, portals and certain locations through certain frequencies. Um, we have them in, in, our, in our calendar called the Wataka and the Lemurian calendar. You can access um, certain medicines aligned to the birth signs of Lemuria. And each birth signs of Lemuria, they also have what is the Motukawa, which is the, the medicines of the birth signs that are constellations. You would call them constellations. We, ha we call them Motukawa, which are in the sky and on the ground. I mean, they're celestial constellations and they're terrestrial constellations. Accessing the mirror, like what's on the ground is above. What's on above is on the ground. That that you that you may or may not see in the Dracon draconian Gregorian zodiac system. Maybe a bit of it, but you know, there's a lot more that's missing. There's a lot more available. There's a lot more abundance. Yes, uh, yes, uh, Chandani. The karakia is a great amplifier. It's an amplifier that I teach how to amplify, that I share, that, that amplifies uh, access to medicine and, and accessing, um, uh, intensifying certain uh, frequencies, intentions. Hey, there's someone named Avalon waiting so patiently there. I hope that's helpful. It's very helpful and it it makes my mind have so many more things to think about now. So thank you. Thank you, Liz, for stopping by all the way from over there in the grams of instance. <laughs> Hi, Avalon. Hi. That's quite the name, Avalon. 
Can you hear me, brother? Five by five. Five by five. Wow, that's good. That's a good number. Greetings. How are you? What is that? A tattoo on your uh, over your eyebrows? Yeah, it is. They are light codes. So yeah, just I don't trying know if to you see, can see that. A little bit dark, but see? yeah, cool. Oh, I yeah. see. Yeah. I see, yeah, I see, they I are see. light codes. They are angelic light codes. So they are not meant Thank to you. be. They are meant to be felt, not to be seen. So what's going on, Avalon? Yeah, so we are reaching out from the Sacred Valley here. We are in Peru. Uh, we've been in Peru for the uh, past. Okay. Uh, yeah, we've been in Peru for the past two months. And uh, we met the great white dragon here, and he sent it, he they sent us uh, to you. And uh, that was already early January. And um, yeah, since then it's been like a very, we got like uh, deeper, uh, more and more deeply connected to the, to, the, to the dragons, to the prime creator dragon. And so uh, today we are very interested about uh, this, um, to hear more about this uh, double, uh, double headed snake mission that you're uh, okay. about to take a part of because uh, yeah, we know somehow that our roads are meant to uh, cross and uh, work together. So yeah. Are you um you when you say we you're with a group there in Peru? No, no, no. We, uh, uh, I we uh, I don't really like to say I anymore. So I prefer I work as much as possible with we. Nice, nice. Yeah. No, well, you're absolutely correct because this is the time of the we for sure. Yeah. Um, uh, so yes, um, but you're located at the moment in Peru. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are you we with are the Cusco. elders? Are you over there with the elders in Cusco, or are you in the valley? Oh, we're in Pisac. Yeah, we're in the Sacred Valley. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, the dragons are very present here, and. Uh, we are currently living at the head of the, I mean, all the mountains here, it's just like, it's the, it's, I mean, it's all dragon at the end of the day, but it's very, very strong here. And so the connection grew stronger here for me. And uh, so, yeah, but uh, please tell us about the, this mission. Yeah, so we just came back from the island of the goddess yesterday. Um, Okay. We were spending on, on Cozumel here in the Yucatan, um, okay. and uh, we were at the pyramid. We were we went to visit um, Unakaha Sahi and I spent the day uh, visiting with the island uh, yeah. to the pyramid to the door of the continuum. So one of the doors is on the on the location of the site, and um, the pyramid of Ishel, which is Isis, which is which is Ishel, which is all of the segment, all of them. Um, yeah. I went to at the end of the at the end of the day. I went to place my hands on on the pyramid on the stone. Just I just placed my hands there, just mm. like this. Um, snake medicine was right by my hand. Wow! Wow! The skin, the skin, the skin. Wow! The skin, I, did, I didn't notice until I placed my hand and I, I my eyes closed and then I opened my eyes and then Unakaha here. Oh, look! There's snake medicine right by your hand. But oh, fantastic! Because we 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 you know the medicines yeah. come, so we we uh, we give thanks and we we uh, we bring the snake medicine and pack it uh, carefully and we bring it back. Wow! So the two two headed snake mission yeah. is a dark tunnel. It's one dark tunnel with two, of course, two openings. Mm -hmm. Of course, tunnels have an opening at each end. And this one in particular, uh, the one in points of light in Amsterdam. Okay. And the other end is in Azores, connected to the underworld pyramids. Okay. Where's and that? Portugal. Azores? Yeah. Portugal. Okay. Yeah. So it's it's not just undersea pyramids. It's the underworld pyramid. Yeah. Access to the underworld. 
So we are, yeah. we're going we're going to work from both ends. So we have two teams of sealed yeah. Huna. Yeah. Now, I only give permission to Hunas that are sealed, and who are mastered as Dragon Masters through all the all the coding and the information they've learned to come on these missions in physical physically. Okay. Yeah, of course. So they. And I they, would. They I would like to. Talk about huh? that too. I would like to talk about that too. So they are aligned and they have the information and it's there's no other information but what is needed to to complete the mission. No any yeah. extra information about feminine rising, masculine this. None of that is involved. It is only concerning frequency, vibration, and the magnetic field of the work and the coding we're bringing in from Lemuria that we are working yeah. with. Lemuria. Yeah. Okay. So we're not doing anything other than just that because there is so much to to get to get distracted from. Yeah. Anyway, so the teams all know this, and so uh, that we have two teams working at the same time, so simultaneously. Mm. It's very important. Okay. It's been on the back burner for eight years now, maybe longer. I, I admit. Oh. Of course, it's the timing when the timing has come. So fine, mm -hmm. got enough team members now. We got enough. We can we can okay. always have more. There's always room for more hunas around the world to do this alignment work mm -hmm. and align together. No other kind of intentions. Mm -hmm. Um. So, um, what are we going to see? What are we going to feel? Like we usually do at, I would say, like we usually do at most dark portals, a lot. Dark energy, heavy energy, uh, demon energy, if you want to say demons. Really, it's just this, this heavy energy with uh, with intentions uh, of malevolence to hurt, to maim, to 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 shorten the lifespan, and put that put that energy in the field. Also, to shut down access in those tunnels. So we want to mm. shut down the access. Um, yeah. We've done this at uh, we've already done this kind of work as a team, and we and so Amsterdam is is uh has come up because that's also where um the Masons, the Freemasons, are um, one of their main um locations, main locations are is in Amsterdam, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. And, and, and as all is, is because of the the ancient legend. Which comes comes through Atlantis, which which was uh, part of the fall of Atlantis and part of the distortion into Egypt, part of the uh, distortions that took over Egypt, took over Kemet. Wow. Okay. Okay. Very interesting. So, and and in the civilization of Atlantis, at least uh, second, uh, second Atlant second and third Atlantis, that became very, you know, just distorted. And uh, the Draconians were involved a lot there. Mm -hmm. uh, these kinds of things. So anyway, so um, we have a time schedule. We have a we have a schedule. We're um, not revealing that exactly yet, but we do have a. Yeah. We're not revealing that in the public right now, but we do have a time schedule. I will reveal yeah. it at some stage probably publicly to to let the dark ones know if they don't already know. Yeah, that we're going in. And give them yeah. the opportunity, and give them the opportunity to interfere and stop us. If they want to try. <laughs> well, that's the whole. Point. The whole point is that they they either going to show up or they don't. Yeah. Now, if they, what is? If they, show, yeah. if they show up, it's important that we that they show up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, it's part of the story. <laughs> yeah, um, it's yeah, part of the story we, we chose. <laughs> Yeah, yeah we, we, hey, everybody shows up, we get the thing done. What is the thing? Holding them in the dark until the light enters them. That's the thing. Yeah. If you're not holding them, well, where's it going to go? Well, we've got to hold somebody. We can hold ourselves, yeah. fine. Yeah, but okay, <laughs> we, need to, <laughs> we, need to hold this, we need to hold the stuff so the light comes in. And so these, these doors, these portals, um, so they, they don't only work and they don't only operate on underground and then from one end to the other um there are access portals through other dimensions like we're talking mm -hmm. about doors outside of light 
And these are these are interference, right? They run interference. Mm -hmm. They've been running interference to uh, interfere with other souls traveling, collecting other souls, all this kind of nonsense. So we actually have so we have two ends, right? Mm -hmm. And then we also have a stargate where we're going to be working with that actually access the middle of the tunnel. Ooh. Can access the center. And uh, this is Stargate number seven. Stargate, num Stargate number seven is, is guarded by the angel Ekbalam, the Jaguar king, the Mayan king. Yeah, we talked about that recently. Yeah, yeah the Mayan king, there's a big, he's the ancestor in the stone on location where the Stargate is located, where, where, where I will be going before I go to Azores. Myself and uh, Huna Kahasa, he and I will both be going to the Stargate to mm. to, drop, to drop the snake medicine there through yeah. the Stargate. Yeah. We're yeah. going to drop it through the Stargate and then into the. Yeah. Now that Stargate we're going to access is in, mm. is a, is known as the Nazarene. Okay. Oh. Nazarene is the path of the Christ one. The okay, true Nazarene, Nazarene. Okay, yeah. The, 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 that is the true part of of, of Yeshua. Is that he is referred to as Nazarene or the, or, or the Nazir or the from Nazareth? That's the one. We are. That's that's the, the Christ consciousness we are talking about. Right. Okay. Right. So that one. Yeah. Well, if you're talking about Yeshua, then okay, talk about the Nazarene, the Naz Nazarene, because there's a location for the Stargate for that. Energy. And the, yeah, and that's over Europe, right? You're talking about Europe? Yeah, it's over Europe. Uh, around the the, around uh, there, I'll, huh? I'll, around uh, there. I'll feel the location a little bit later too for that one. Yeah, no, you don't have to right now. I was just like, yeah, so first of all, anyway, it is, it's, it is in Europe. That one is in Europe. So I've got to go to, to yeah. Europe, um, to the Stargate. Then I've got to go to Greece, to the Giants in Rhodes. Yeah. Yeah. And pick up the, the the codes of the giants, and bring the Lemurian giant codes yeah. over to, to uh, Azores. Yeah, Greece is so powerful. So these are what are, what are sweet dear ones. What I mean by the giants and all of this talk, I'm saying sounds fabulous. No, but yeah, yeah uh, they're very pleasant. Yeah. They're, they're 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 like oh, I'm going to go and pick up a rock. <laughs> ah. I'm going to pick up. <laughs> So I'm going to go and collect these relics and and bring the codes yeah. that are that that are there from the ancient and and yeah. um, realign them and bring them with us. Yeah. Yeah. Someone's just saying Nazarene's name is Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, you know, yeah. Well, referring. we call it San we call him Sananda, but like, yeah. Yeah, they call him yes, Sananda so. now. Um, Sananda. You know, and then yeah. Okay, when you say Amen, Amen comes from Amun. So I like to invite everybody to leave Amen out of their conversation. Because that comes from Amun Ra. It doesn't come from Amen. Hebrew, it comes from Amun Ra. Okay, that's the origin of Amen. If you want to speak Jesus Christ, that's fine, but leave out the Amen because that is Amun Ra. <laughs> leave out the Amen. <laughs> yeah, he's already, that's, that was the one where the yeah, anyway, forget about it. But the Nazarene I'm with because I traveled the path of the Nazarene to find that Stargate and I found it. Wow. Um, wow. And there's a guardian there who is a Mayan, Mayan king, a former Mayan wow. king, guardian wow. of that. Wow. Right. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Wow. That's what's up. <laughs> yeah. But hey. so when are you when are you heading to what is your travel? What is your what are your next travels? Because like I do want to get Huna this year, but I want to follow your schedule. Yeah, I mean, uh, hello. Can you hear me?
I'm gonna hop in because I have hey. connectivity. Hi. How are you? So I'm well. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. So I think the Starlink is having some issues, everybody. Yeah. Um hopefully he can get back on. So it started raining. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Um so with his schedule, um, yeah. something that I wanted to show for everybody here, this is, uh, the, hopefully it comes up, the flyer for the undoing in Rhodes. So for anybody that's interested yeah. in joining us for that, if you go to that link, um, there is a sign up button there so people can hop in on that. Um, and we also have the location, I hit the wrong button. We also have the uh, Google Maps location. so. Okay. whenever you or anybody else goes they know where to book near and i'm gonna add this guy back on yeah hi Good to have you back huna <laughs> it, it just it just came pouring down what yeah oh, yeah went, yeah i, went I switched to my yeah i switched to my hotspot to be safe me too so it's okay now beautiful all right so I was just covering uh, the next event with um, the undoing. I just put this up. Uh, I'll show it right. to you because you haven't seen this on here yet is the flyer for the event. So oh, anybody yeah. that's interested can sign up for that. And we have the uh, the map link. So if anybody needs to know where to book their hotel, then they know where to mm -hmm. go near too. because Rhodes is kind of a big island. Yeah. So back to you, Huna Flash. <laughs> okay, thanks for that, um, Tom Yeah, thank you. Thank you. And, You're welcome. Uh, yeah. So there's a couple more quest people for questions here. So go yeah, get yeah, one. I'm gonna head up. Um, gonna head up. Sounds good, Avalon. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see each other for the Huna for the Huna ride this year. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for that. Look forward yeah. to having you on the team. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Me too. Thank All you right. for having me. See you. Bye. Okay, there's uh who is Jasmine? Jasmine, you're there or no? No? Yes. Yes. I, I can't here. see you. Oh. <laughs> Hi, you are. Hello. Hello there. Try to I have my mic it to my phone, so I'm trying to make it where it doesn't fall over. <laughs> Thank you. So um, what an honor it is to be here. Um, I found you also through Aaron Lyons. So I feel in we live in the same city, but I feel like I have, I have a feeling I'll meet you before I meet her. So um, I'm just I'm so grateful to have, you know, made that that connection full circle. And I feel like a part of why I feel so drawn to you specifically is because of my Polynesian background that I knew nothing about till my father, after, like right yeah. before he passed. I didn't grow up with him, um, but he's, you know, white and Samoan. So, and it explains a lot about myself. So then I'm like, it feels, I feel that father figure energy with you. So I had two questions for you. Um, the first question is I've been doing like a lot, a lot of inner work on myself a lot of it by myself. <laughs> so I wanted to know if you can feel energetically, am I even ready to do the the seal and the um, the dragon master's class and all those things? Like I've been trying to prepare myself financially. It's that alone has been a struggle in itself, whole different story. Um, but I wanted to be honest with myself and know if I'm even ready to even try to do that like can you tell me is that something i'm even ready to try to contribute myself to well uh just having met you in just 10 seconds <clears throat> um but let me say you're you're in the bloodline it means you're in our bloodline yeah right you're your dad so that's an automatic of course you're ready because that energy that bloodline that you have um is is very powerful in the energy and the dragon energy yeah it's a very powerful line it's 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 our blood type is very special blood type right so you have that within you and i'm gonna say yes automatic <laughs> automatic now the other part with the other part with is in terms of um 
you know, yeah, you have to get rid, you have to get prepared for it. So you do what you can. Right. It, it's it's serious. You, you it's your serious joy. So no matter what um, you know needs to be done, you know that energy is calling for it. Right. You're here. That's the other part of it. Yeah. You're here talking to someone who's also your father, as we are regarded as meant the father of many children. We 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 have a village. Our village raises the children, not just one father. I'm also regarded as your father in a way. Right. As as many Polynesians are, you're either your uncle or father. Okay. Now, so I'm going to say, yes, you have our bloodline within you. Okay. But then again, everybody's Māori. So everybody is. My, and, and as far as I'm concerned, Get the seal. Become a huna. Right. And I want to do that. It's just, like I said, finances have been kicking my behind lately. So that's why I'm, you know, I haven't done it yet. But I just felt like maybe it's just for me to do more, continue to work on myself more, give it more time. And obviously when the right up, when it presents itself, when the universe opens that door, then obviously, you know, I can walk right through. But I'm just trying not to get ahead of myself. You know, I just felt like you would be able to tell energetically. <laughs> Hey, you're from the future. How are you going to get ahead of yourself? <laughs> I don't know. All right. So now I say the seal, get the seal, because I want everybody sealed. Right. But at the same time, do your due diligence. Treat yourself seriously. It's something that you don't just try to haw high your way into or, or fake your way into. You can't. You can be serious about yourself. And this path that you that you're inquiring about, and you're asking for information about you, and, I, and like it's automatic because I already know your bloodline. It's my bloodline, and that's why I asked because I, you know, I've been on this journey now. I want to say for since what 2017, and I take it very seriously. Like I'm literally the only one in my like immediate family that's doing, you know, this hard work and my work looks very different from other people's work. You know, like people look at their work as a nine to five. Mine is more so internal. And so like, I take it very, very seriously. Like the work I do on my YouTube channel, like all that stuff, it's, it's, I take it very seriously and I do it with a lot of it, frick ton of integrity. So, you know, and that's why I asked, you know, for you to tell me energetically speaking, like, is it something that I'm just I, I'm that, and that's why I asked because I'm in, trying to ensure that I'm approaching this from that standpoint of making sure that it's something I'm actually ready to do because I take it so seriously. I, I don't want to just throw myself into it because it sounds good. I want to make sure that I'm actually ready to give the utmost contribution that I can, you know? Yes. Energetically, you're ready. The bloodline tells, the bloodline tells me that number two, you're here asking about it, talking about yeah. it. I've attended Amongst. many of your lives. I just, you know, I'm, you know, I've been kind of like shy and, you know, all that, but I'm doing more work to come out of my comfort zone and show up when I feel like I need to show up. And so that's why, I, you know, <laughs> I'm here. Exactly. And thank you <clears throat> for showing your face and being here and telling us, sharing with us about that. So take, take what time you need to get things together and, and to become a huna, to be sealed. Energetically, yes, you're ready. That bloodline is fire. What you have in your what you have in your body is dragon fire. It is the dance of fire that's inside of you. I already know that just by you telling me your who your father was, and it's that's the haka inside of you. And you're ready for the haka because you were born ready. Right. You're born ready in, in both sides of your family. I'm going to I'm going to promote that side because this side because it, it is absolutely it, there's no mistake what that the haka is there you know there's or the so much of it. there's so the much sibato. of it I don't know yeah yeah the sibato the, the the dance of the stars is within you man now you're going to go and learn how to do the dance huh yeah <laughs> you got to go and learn some of those things of of, of what the, the way that the dragon dances. Yeah. Absolutely. And, you know, if anything else, we can thank your father for that, if not anything else. But Definitely. we're going to thankful that you're here. Absolutely. We are thankful that you are here, that the descendants from the stars is here 
That's who you are. <laughs> you're Maori. Being Samoan also means you're Maori, which means right. you are a descendant from the stars. It doesn't so, matter what color you are. It doesn't matter what color you are. Yeah. So I have and one more just, question in regards to when you said the stars reminded me before I forget. So I, when I first um, discovered like, you know, star seeds and the systems and things like that, I would felt like I was really drawn to Pleiadians, right? At the time. And it wasn't until I want to say maybe about a month or two ago that I discovered a different star system that I felt so much resonant with, like it put me into tears. Like I was, I just felt like it blew my mind. And then looking back, coming full circle, like I have physical um, markings on my body, on my right side of my body, as well as a mole in my left eyeball that, you know, really kind of, like I said, brings it full circle, but I wanted to, but it's one that nobody ever talks about. Like I find very little information on it, but so I wanted to know what you feel about it or what information you have about what can you tell me about um, Mentakins. Mentakin um, star seeds, because that's what I feel most yeah. open to, and the information I do have on it, I have never felt more connected, more in alignment within in the physical part, you know, physical marking on my body, and I'm like, holy shit, Orion literally left his mark on on me, <laughs> like it's so wild. Yeah, Mentakin um, of the belt. Mm -hmm. We haven't I, talked. I, about I literally it. have a mole on the belt of the belt on on my body, literally. Yeah, like, that's. We we didn't talk about men talking and that uh, I see very much. You know, hardly I haven't heard much of it in years and and of the the lot of recent years. Mm -hmm. It did pop up. It did pop up occasionally because we we there's also an alignment to what we when we refer to the continuum, and um, that location is also where a continuum in the we call it Tau. Mm -hmm. The three, the belt itself is a continuum. The belt itself, and it, it includes um, that system. So, you that you feel at home from there? Yes, absolutely, because we are connected there. We are connected to the continuum there. Certainly, when there's a eclipse, especially when there's eclipses going on. And we got one coming up, do we not? In April. Yeah. Uh, and how do you feel about eclipses? I feel like it depends on where I'm at. Sometimes they're not as intense, and other times it's like I'm ready. You know, I feel ready, like to eclipse out whatever doesn't belong. Just <laughs> shoot it to the moon, get out, you know, get rid of it. Um, but it, it's you know, it kind of depends. It hits different. You know, each time sometimes they're really intense. Other times, I feel like I'm prepared, like I'm ready. I'm I'm in alignment, and we have we, not we that bad. Have, so through the bloodline of your father, we have access there, and access through that continuum. Orion, uh, of course, Sirius, mm -hmm. Lyra, Pleiades. They they are, and even though the name is not spoken, Mintaken, mm -hmm. even though that's not spoken, the energy of it and the Location is right that that area of space. And there are doors. Uh, I think there. Are, I think we went recently. I think recently we had an alignment to uh, a door location near there or in the vicinity. But mm -hmm. in, in either case, um, that's correct. You know, Lemuria had the Lemurian wars. Included Orion in all of its systems, right? Orion and Sirius and Lyra Wars, um, which is the fall of Lemuria. There were four golden ages, yeah. you know, and so it would make sense that it is hmm, feels known to you. Like that so, thing for home is so real. When I like, like you know, finally like dove into that and saw like, you know, like heard all the th things and how I grew up and, and why certain things happen because I like always see the best in people and all kinds of stuff. It was just like, holy, like, it was like everything just come crashing where, down like all at where, one time. That's where, how that it hit so hard. Where are you located? Yeah. Where are you located right now? In San Diego. On Diego. Yeah. Because, uh, and, and Tom Marquez just reminding me that we, we asked, 
she did the work on the portal, the Orion portal in Nashville. Mm. Okay, so um, I think that was might have been the last time we talked about this Mintaken and Tau and the mm. names, the, the actual names of uh, the blue planet at the center of the belt, right? So um, getting the seal, there'll be more information that will be revealed from that during the time of the seal. Or if you happen to do a one-on-one -on -one session, we can go and do more study. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I will invite, for, you know, at the very least to have a one-on-one -on -one so we can go a little deeper on this question and then, then uh, do a little bit more closer studying and remembering because that's something that we don't uh, chat about too much. Right. Um, but And that's why I wanted to ask you, because like, even though I, it's my first time actually communicating with you like this, I, I really feel a true resonance with your words. Like I, it feels, it sits well in my spirit and I trust it. Like I trust your knowledge, the way you explain things, even, you know, the highest lows, the, the funny stuff, but also the serious directs, like all of it, it just, it sits so well in my spirit to where I'd like, I literally, that's why I asked because I, I trust your, your guidance, like in that, you know, matters. <laughs> like I take this, this stuff seriously of where I get my information from and, you know, all that. So that's why I wanted to, you know, know how you felt about it. Thank you, Jasmine. You know, and I have a niece, my brother's daughter, her name is Jasmine. Uh, you're my niece, my daughter, you're from yeah. our village, your bloodline is extending, you are a descendant from the stars, you are Maori, Mahdi, Maoli, Maohi, Kanakas, Tangata, yeah. you are that within our family, so yeah, um, I'd be happy to, to uh, sit and talk with you more. you got to lock that down now, okay? Yes. Sit down and Absolutely. we'll do that. So is I've that where would I find the information on that on your website? Yeah. Or okay. yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's all there. Just go to the website. Tamaki, all the links will be up anyway. So okay. um, you can check them out there. We've got one more call and she's been sitting patiently. <laughs> um Roz, thanks, uh, Jasmine. Let's talk to you soon. Thank huh? you so much. I will for sure. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Hey Roz, Roz, you've been you've been so patient. Thank you so much. Oh, I watch you always. This is the first time. Um, can you hear me? Oh, yeah, I can hear you. This is the first time you've come on. Yes, it's the first time oh, because I've okay. been watching all the time from Facebook. Honored. Uh, then this evening, um, it Thank said, you. you know, to copy and post in Safari. I'm not very good on the internet, so um, I've just actually even put on an, um, a, a little laptop. So, uh, yeah, it's good. it's happening. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for showing you, revealing yourself here. Very brave. Uh, yeah, I'm going to see you in Rhodes. So, um, uh, I've booked and i'm uh yeah so i'll see you oh, oh great yes you're going to be in june you're coming for the intensive the graduation no, i'm coming i'm coming to um the the 27th and 28th oh okay the undoing the undoing yeah. i'm coming undoing. you see i have a different name on facebook and you sealed me in spain in That's when right. we were down in malaga that's um, right. Yes. So I know you see so many people. Oh, but do you remember your Huna? Yes. Um, Huna Matakuri. Matakuri. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah, the, Huna Matakuri. The, the descendants of the firstborn. Yes. The um, first stone and the first stone. Wow, yeah. amazing. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're going to come to. You're coming to the to, the, the mission. Yeah, I'm bringing a friend with as well. So. You know, like I'm, I've been very quiet, uh, mm. but I can I ask a question? Please do. Um, actually, because I really want to get, I went on to your, your um, is it Zazzle? Because I wanted Zazzle, to, Zazzle, yeah, yeah, yes. Um, I wanted to start purchasing things because obviously, being based in Spain, 
oh, you know. Yeah. Um, so that's when I, um, I would like to start pushing all this stuff here for you, as you know. So um, when we get there, um, it was really just about the European, how you order and get it into Europe. Yeah. You know, so but we can talk about that when <laughs> when that I would, come over. Because see, that that company is a dropship company, so we don't yeah. manufacture. Now, yeah, taxes into Europe is expensive. Yeah, because like these are the things that obviously I take. I think Malaga was maybe three years ago, if I'm guessing. It is. It, it is, has been. and my it has friend Ashling she was the one who got me to come she's sealed as well and i said to her then yeah i'm going to be i know i'm going to be with una and she said no i said i am and then with, with <laughs> the master dragon course like but i'm it's taking some time on the master dragon course for me to keep going over it keep going over it to That's thoroughly fine. understand and i yeah, it's like you were talking to Jasmine. And, you know, I resonated with Jasmine's words of like, when is the time? And I was sitting thinking, well, time is for me an illusion anyway. So I just know that it was for me to come with you now. And that that's that's the next plan. The next space, the next dimension for me. That's fantastic. Yes. You'll be coming yeah. to this the two-headed snake dark tunnel mission. Yeah. And um, um uh, hmm. also um yes, and also we've got to work on um Europe's the um shipping and everything for Europe. But that 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 that's gonna take um I, we will yeah. have to see. It's yeah. going to take a, a lot of putting our heads together on that. So, yeah, um, I, I, yeah, I think I'm ready now to give the energy and time because my own concepts have had to come together so that I could yeah. be a, a, be here okay for you guys as well, a hundred percent, not fifty percent. Well, thank you for that. Yeah, because it's you, so you are amazing, and so are the other Hunas. The um, I know um, I haven't fully shared back um, with Huna Mareka on this, but I've decided to take Burning Mask to Vancouver. Oh, because yeah. well, a couple of things. Why? Because the energy and all of the authorizations have come through. And pointed in that direction, like authorizations coming from the the uh, First Nations Council of um, the Native Tribes, at least three of them, mm -hmm. and then also the authorization from the Canadian government to extended my um, access through to 2028. Wow! Uh, the so, also, Hoonas over there have been doing a lot of work towards supporting. The burning the burning mask mm -hmm. and so not much has been done on the side of spain um well one one other thing is it's going to be really hot because it's in august uh, end of july yeah and granada's yeah. going to be sweltering yes yes <laughs> you That's so you're going to granada you well, granada well granada it was going to be granada now it's vancouver yeah yeah, I like Canada <laughs> as well. <laughs> well, like I said, all of the access and all of the approvals are coming from the First Nations, the Native, the Native uh, American councils, and they've mm -hmm. written a document that supports my work. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. uh, an approval to support that. Mm -hmm. And they also wrote that and also to, to the government, so the government knows that I have mm -hmm. authorization to to do work on behalf of and in the name of. In the name of, yeah. In the name of the ind indigenous people. Mm -hmm. They I signed know. the document for that. Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. so, yeah. so. So moving into that, so we'll talk more on that thing as, as well as, uh, you know, you're going to be coming into the mission very soon. Yeah. 
two yeah. months. Yes. We'll be on the road. Yes. I'm, like I'm looking forward to coming to 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 um to Greece, and then oh, I. Good. Yes. The undoing. You're coming to the undoing. Yes. I'm coming to the undoing. Yes. I wanted to come to also. Um, what's the other one? Azores in Portugal. Well, depends on which one you want to be at for the mission. You'll be I, in I Azores. Think what, I think it's good that I'm coming to Greece and then I can get my grounding with yourself and the other yeah. Lunas. Uh, it's a starting point. Yep. It's, it, it's a starting point and I want to thank you. You know, like... We will yeah. be having a meeting very soon, a video conference, going over the protocol and the sequence for the dark tunnel mission. In the yeah, door. yeah. So that yeah, <laughs> don't even know what to expect. But um... yeah, well, we'll let you know. Like, you're going to be coming, so you know you're going to have to know how we do things. It's all so. It's also in the Dragon Masters. Yeah, you know. I, it's now. I, I'm. I'm I'm studying. <laughs> I have to see, and it's really it's happening. So, um, if my battery goes on this phone, um, <laughs> I might disappear. <laughs> um, but next time, I'll put my name up for um, Yes, please. It's a reminder. Yes, there are many hunas now. <laughs> yes, there are so many. I, I have the numbers in the thousands. Yes, because I asked Ems, who's in England, one of the other who knows, she's doing all yeah. the motions and motions. And because I, I said to her, if I could help her in Scotland and here, you know, that's what we are here for to share and care. And <laughs> yeah, so just feel so blessed that I've spoken to you tonight. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Rose. Thank you, Una Matakuri. Um, yeah. Yes, uh, I look forward to seeing you over there. I look forward to seeing you in the meeting and we'll get everything sorted out. Thank you. <laughs> we'll yeah. get going, okay? Yes, okay. To all of well, you, well, Papa, good night. That's fantastic, sweet, sweet, dear ones. Well, I think that's it for today. Um, there was quite a bit to chew on there, quite a bit to... To send through the consciousness, sweet, sweet, dear ones, about the doors outside of light. Know that the mother of all changes has been happening. We've been seeing it all across the spectrum on the political scene, the banking scene, and all these things that are, all these um, industries that are aligning, are realigning, resetting, you know, re getting recharged and re reorganized for, for our, for the coming these coming years very shortly which is right on the doorstep um for this near future we're about to step into of course we've been calling it on and um it's going to be a real big celebration sweet sweet dear ones sweet dearly beloved all right i just want to make an announcement um i'm very proud and i'm very pleased um, to just announce that Huna Masahawa, that is Samantha Bray, she just sent me a text message that she has just completed hosting a dragon ride um, in uh, the UK, in Birmingham. Uh, this is the, the first time anyone has done um, my protocol, um, which is a group therapy protocol called the Dragon Rider. First time other than anyone else has done this other than myself. So I want to congratulate the Huna for that. That's a huge step connecting into all of those energies simultaneously. What she has done, she shares um, wonderful comments and wonderful um, um, completion, immense, <clears throat> immense openings, immense tears of the dragon. And um, yes, and the ability to swim in those waters takes quite quite a powerful essence to swim in the waters of a dragon ride. And so I want to congratulate her, Huna Masahawa, aka Samantha Bray, 
Uh, she occasionally stops by to the show, but if you see her here, sweet, sweet dear ones, um, you know, just uh, realize that's who I'm talking about, and I'm I'm so proud of her. Uh, she was she graduated the Dragon Masters, and um, so a year, not quite a year, or has it been a year? Uh, no, hasn't been a year, and she completed her first Dragon Ride um, with eleven. 11 individuals in the group. So I want to thank you and uh, so proud and thank all of you uh, for hanging out with me today and visiting. So many Hoonas here and uh, perhaps uh, new Hoonas to be. And um, the doors outside of light, sector six. Sector 6 is, is uh, uh, the Taurus field, another part of the Taurus field that's out on the outer edge of the Taurus field. Uh, we refer to them as sectors. There are six sectors to the entire Taurus field as it fluctuates, as it, as it uh, cycles its energy. And each of the sectors is spoken of through our Lemurian codes and uh, invite you to the Dragon Masters to sign up to learn more about these things and the doors and the missions that we have coming. Also, um, to sign up uh, for the Lemurian Oracle and the Lemurian birth charts through the various websites that are recommended on the House of Earth. Okay, so. Um, if you have interest in any of these things, please go there, check it out. I look forward to our next show. Um, and uh, as usual, it's been fun. I we'll look forward to it again. All righty. So much love, sweet, sweet dear ones, sweet dearly beloveds. we get you out of here with one of these. Bye bye. shaman are you experiencing unpleasant energies in your home and surroundings and waking up in the middle of the night my work involves clearing individuals homes and communities contact me at www.lightshaman.earth and i would be happy to help For all of your high vibrational health care needs, visit Huna Caparore at www.lightinaction.earth.